You don't get any prizes for guessing that that song's called Go, by the way. <laughs> uh, that's actually, is, I really, I've only just kind of stumbled upon uh, this band. They're called Public Service Broadcasting. Uh, and they're really quite good. They've got, <laughs> uh, they've got songs that they kind of fuse um, that kind of uh, historical recordings into. And it's really quite good. Um, Anyway, how are we doing, wonderful people? Today, we are going to be venturing into the Pacific Northwest, probably one of the coolest regions on the planet, in my view. Um, I'm desperate to get there somewhere. Um, chances are the first time I visit America, I'll probably die, but it's uh, I'll, I'll save it for like when I'm old. Um, so we are going to be playing that, and yeah, we're just going to get started, to be honest. How are we all? We're having a good day. How's how's our weeks been? Exhausted and stressed. Oh shit! What's up, Miss Black? Anything we can help with? Or are you just wanting chill vibes for the stream, and we we relax you? How's it going, pirate? Right. Let's. Begin. Oh, why is it tiny? What's going on there? There we go. Fixed. Uh, right, first of all, settings. Accessibility. I am a uh, wanting to make sure everything's okay on uh, this side for people. There's a lot of accessibility options, which is great to see. Can we get a ban on that? Thank you very much, Legendary Super Lesbian. That was quick on the draw to ban we fucking idiot. We have seen quite a lot of bots recently, so I suppose just brace yourselves. Um, right, there is an absolute shitload of accessibility options, which is great to see. If there's any that are jumping out immediately at folk, we can toggle them. I'm kind of happy as is. Um... But if, if, if there's something that we could, you know what, I'll just read them out. So, Bob players view while walking, Bob in hand tools while walking, reduce rate and intensity of flickering visual effects, close eyes when inside a tumbling car, a fade screen when entering or exiting the car, darken screen edges, edges when the car's moving fast, determines when the vignette takes effect, so there's Tons and tons of stuff there. Reduce flickering visuals, sure thing. Okay, I'll pop that on. Also, I've noticed that um, in the past, lightning's been a thing. Uh, what I will do is an, I'll, unless there's any protests just now, um, please nix the head camera, Bob, sure thing. Just want to make sure it's all good on that side. Okay, reduce flickering and reduce head bob. That's done. Uh, on the video side thing, I know that should have really come on this and, and sorted it. I'm just going to do max 120 FPS. Apply the video settings. Cool. Anyway. Brighter nights. Well, we'll see how the nights are initially and if it is pitch black and people are struggling to see, I'll toggle them on, okay? Um, but yeah, really excited to dive into this. We loved the demo when it came out. I think there was a lot of hype around the demo. Um, yes, I suppose that's a, a good point. If anyone's interested in doing the Hades 2 technical kind of tests, their sign-up is available. You can request access to it on Steam. Um, so, you know what, just to save you the time, um, I'll just quickly grab the link so I can fire it in chat for you. Um, all you have to do is jump on to the page and request it. So there you go. Follow that link. There's a button that says Hades 2 Playtest. You can request access and um, you'll you'll see. Um, but yeah, best of luck. I don't know if it's just a luck of the draw thing or anything else. Anyway, I was very kindly gifted a key by the devs of Pacific Drive. Uh, so we are going to be diving right in. Thanks very much for them to for doing that. Um, and yeah, let's go. Um, in Pacific Drive, the game saves when you load into a new level. You can save during a trip by leaving the current level, triggering a save, 
Manual save is available in the pause menu from the garage. You can also abandon your trip from the pause menu to return to the garage, trigger it, triggering penalties and a save. There are options in the settings to modify these penalties. Would you like to customise your settings before you start? No. We'll see how we go. I feel my energy levels dipping, so I'm doing a silly thing and drinking coffee at 8 o'clock. I'm sure this will be fine. In 1947, the Olympic Peninsula became the staging ground for a promising new technology. As rumours of its utopian creation spread, so did stories about overnight evacuations, unsolved disappearances and something else that I couldn't, couldn't read. In 1955, the government walled off a section of the peninsula to establish the Olympic Exclusion Zone. For 30 years, the zone's borders grew until the government withdrew and sealed every access point. Chances are caffeine will have the opposite effect and just make me sleepy. What happened inside was never disclosed. Stretch done. So I don't know if the demo for the game started it. No, the, we did start at this in the first time, didn't we? The first time, yeah, easy for me to say. Duck, deliver, unload, clean, and kill as many people as possible. All right. South of the barrier wall. I'm not sure if I should be doing um, controller or mouse and keyboard. It's coffee. I could have made tea, I could have had some green tea, um, but I was thinking of like how quickly tea or coffee actually gets, gives me energy, so I was just going with that. Anyway, we are doing American car driving, so we're already driving on the wrong side of the fucking road. We have an automatic car, so it's literally just drive in reverse, right? Be nice to have an automatic car. Takes the pressure off. Can toggle my wipers. And that is one big ass wall. Hey, it's Monday Moon, how you doing? This feels close to the vibe of Western Washington. I just wanna be here, man. Doug Furs and Fog, that sounds like my fucking jam. I want to be one with the forest people. <laughs> I want to, I just want to hang about there. Give me some like forestry commission job out in the state of Washington and I'll, you'll never hear from me again. How do I turn on headlights? Ah. It's E. Cool. See, this is it's nice. It's good vibes. Music's good. Toggle the headlight. Oh, it's Z. I thought it was E. Oh, okay. It's really dark, isn't it? <laughs> Ah, that's why you use headlights when you're driving, so you can see. Got you. Oh, we are going fast now. Nice. Hiking would be great in the Pacific Northwest. Just gonna hang there. Tundra, is it anything like this where you are? I know you're Alaska, so you're like a fair chunk north, but is it is it similar vibes or are you <laughs> Exactly, full beam LED disaster. Oh I would, that'd be great. I think that's probably like the main part of America that I'd be the most keen to see. Like if I had to choose one, um, 
Like, no offense, but I've never been attracted to, like, Florida as much. Um, I, it's not... Oh, fuck. Not that I have anti-Florida vibes, it's just... I've never had the same pull towards somewhere like Florida compared to, you know, Pacific Northwest. No offense to Florida, okay? No offense. I'm not offending Florida. Um, when you say it's a lot emptier, do you mean from a, a building's perspective, or is there like a fuckload of trees? Because I, I like the, I kind of like the idea of having less people. See, this is nice. I can't believe the Pacific Northwest is exactly like this, from the floating bits of car and everything. Yeah, that makes sense. Cool. Gonna go through here. And there is a control to crouch button. <laughs> yeah. You should have more glowing waste than the, um, in the world. <laughs> gravity, gravity fluctuations are a bit of a pain. Oh, someone out there? Oh, uh, got a swarming. Ah, yes, got a new car. Oh, Francis, the radar's acting up again. You were supposed to tune up this piece of junk years ago. Boom. How do I... Oh wait, no, okay, he is speaking to me. Just wondering if there's anything else that I can grab here. Is the game bright enough for folk or would you want it turned up a bit? Put the car in drive. Okay, I have put it in drive. I should probably turn it on as well. I do indeed copy. I remember we got to the garage. Yeah, it is. So we, we got to the garage and then we moved on to another demo. We never got to spend too long on Pacific Drive. I'm very keen to play through the game now. Do you regularly blend beef in America? Oh fuck. Oh shit, siphon fuel. Put it in park. Open the door. Let's siphon that fuel. Oh wait, check your trunk for a fuel can. Oh, the fuel, the fuel can is stuck to the seal. That's a bit weird. Oh yeah, pump that fucking oil out. That gas. We now have gasoline for our automobile. Have national <laughs> secrets about blending. We've, I mean, I posted this on um, I posted this on Tumblr yesterday, right? But I really love the um, oh no, I really love the guys in like it tends to be the American South. They tend to like sit around a giant like cauldron cooking like jambalaya and stuff, and they put so much food in this one pot, and it's. It's amazing. I, lo I love watching the TikToks of it because it's just, it tends to be like four guys and four big, big guys who just love food and fucking love what they do and they just, they sit and they cook it and it's, it's great and they just, 
Like, every so often one of them stands up and they've got like a giant paddle that they stir this jambalaya with. It's fucking excellent. Love that content. Oh god, oh. Damn, I have managed to totally fuck the driving up. Not safe for Twitch. <laughs> My streams aren't safe for Twitch. No, they are. Sorry, Bezos. Don't ban me. I'm guessing part of my car is damaged because I am really struggling to, like, steer here. I mean, I know that the car in general is kind of fucked, but... Jambalaya is lovely. I think I've only had it, like, once. It's not a common thing to see here. Hell, freaking yeah. We found Oppie's auto shop. Time to put it in park and open the door. Yeah, the car is mildly damaged. Find a way into the building. I'm gonna guess it's through the door. Breaker on. See, this seems cosy. Oh Who is there? Oppie. Oppie is there. You've got five seconds to get the hell out before I. Oh, God. Ow! My head. Pick up the mechanic's eye headset hanging by the map. Mechanic's eye. The message HUD. is for Dr. Ophelia Turner. We send a preacher to your garage on um, uh, official zone business. Tend to now your rooms at the first aid station. Story, uh, this person is in possession of a remnant which has taken the form we of a and well, uh, oh. the remnant thing. She's not gonna care. Um, uh, right, okay, okay, so this is the remnant. What is over here? Oh, one of my wheels came off. Can I go? Why can I not go? Oh, I can go now. I was in park. I'm a dumbass. See you later, Hubris. Thanks for hanging out. She's quite angry. Unfortunately. The barrier wall is as fortified against breaches trying to get in as it is against anyone or anything. Open the headset OS with find you a way out. tab. So you might as well start by Go to blueprints. Don't break anything in my shop with those soft hands of yours. To get pin to checklist. Search the abandoned car's trunk. Sure. Search the toolbox by the garage door for a pry bar. That is here. God, inventory management. Here we fucking go. Here we go. We're gonna be struggling most of the time. So, we've got flares. And we've got glass shards. Okay. <laughs> it is. It is for all of us. I see for all of us. For me on this. Oh, fuck. 
Okay, we have haunted scrap the abandoned cars, wheels, panels, and just oh yeah, we've got the Okay. I quite like this. Uh, it's, it's quite chill actually to destroy stuff. <laughs> when you say my friendly neighborhood and backpack hero, are those both very heavy inventory managers? Are you setting me up for punishment? Is that what this is? I'm gonna siphon from here. Hey, non fatal, how you doing? Good to see you. Full fuel can. Your inventory expands in Backpack Hero. Ah, sounds wonderful. Sleepy. That's. Is that good? Is it like a nice sleepy day for you, or you got to do stuff? I'm guessing you've got work or something. Cool. Craft a crude door in the shop. I feel like I should be crafting a whole new car, because that does not look good. One crude door. Craft it. Hey, Subraya, thanks so much for the 26 months. Hope you're having a good day. Also, 26 months, hot damn. That's what I call putting up with me. Get the repair putty from the locker. Oh, that's a spare tire, nice. Equip the repair putty. Oh no, hold on. Um Right, repair putty is Steel Sheet, Fuel Can, Mechanics Kit, First Aid Kit, Repair Putty. you just stay there? Okay. Use the repair putty to repair the car. <laughs> I love it. It's just so... Yeah, that'll fucking do. Don't mind me and my... Structural integrity of the... That is actually really fucking cool how it just kind of, like, repairs itself like that. It's fine. Just slap it on. Rear bumper? Nah. Tire? There's the tire. I would kind of love for us to invent something like this in real life. It would be pretty cool, I think. Just being like, yeah, just slap on a good old bit of repair putty. That'll be fine. Nice. Look, it's 100% repaired. <laughs> I need to scan the flat tire. So either repair the flat by crafting and using a ceiling kit, or re replace it with a spare tire. I think I'll just replace it, right? Actually, I need to remove that one first. So is that... Am I better off... I mean, I could just leave that here for now, right? I'll leave that there, and then I'll pop this one on. Scan the loose wheel and then equip the mechanics kit. The mechanics kit being this. So scanning that. Ta-da! <laughs> you don't call me car mechanic repair boy for nothing. We can now... 
Install cardboard boxes in the trunk. Boom. Install the craft mat in the trunk. Nice. And install the Octoface in the passenger the seat. Sure. Hook it up to your car, wherever it'll fit. Oh, sick. This beauty won't just be your tour guide. So that's it's the map. North Star gotcha. the only way back to safety. Heck, you should consider it the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit if you plan on staying alive. That's how important this thing will be to you. Yes, that's right. Yeah. I don't think we'd progress much beyond this, so this is... From now on, we're exploring whole new territory. Pick up the gear blueprint. Okay. That was really close to my face there. Picked up the impact hammer blueprint. Use the pump to fill the fuel tank. Pump acquired. Fuel tank. Nice. Throw the switch to charge the battery. If you're all set, <laughs> take a look it. at the projector <laughs> against the wall. Projector against the wall? Oh, okay. This is the zone. Within these borders. All matter has lost the ability to hold a constant physical state. Nice. What that means is so is this a roguelike in of just about everything constantly that kind of way? A mile of grass can turn into ten miles of swamp in the blink of an eye, and it does constantly. It's caused by something we call instability. We're completely surrounded by it, and once you've watched it chew through entire mountain ranges, you'll understand that you don't want to get anywhere near it. We can only survive in here within pockets of stability. That's what you're standing in now. And that's what you're seeing mapped on the route planner. If we're going to find you a way out of the zone, you'll need to build a new antenna. Until then, you won't be able to detect stabilized routes beyond your immediate area. So, you've yeah. got to go hunting for parts, and that means taking a drive. Go on, pick a route. The Octavice in your car will then show you where you need to go. Cool, let's go there. Off you go. Make a left out of the garage and follow the access road. Sure. Alright. Time to drive. And as we all know, I am excellent at driving. Actually, I think my concern with just learning to drive in general was um, was based around how bad I am in video games. It's a real thing. Okay, time to get on the road. This is fine. Should I have a door for the back? I've not been told to make a door for the back yet. I imagine we will at some point, but not yet. <laughs> not this day. Oh wait, am I just fast traveling? Oh. I'm guessing there is bits that I need to drive. Your car is your shield. Okay, newbie. Keep this <laughs> That's the, I don't want to yeah. I would. I would hope so. Twisted stars. Otherwise, people are fucked. The First on the list is plasma. The woods are littered with plasma generators. Look for a research trailer or a spot tower. But that's those antenna things zapping you when you get too close. Both are always accompanied by plasma generators. Okay. The Octavice is picking up on some plasma generators. That is a plasma generator right there. Ah, looks like it's ripe for the picking. Can't get at it with your hands, though. An impact hammer will do the trick. Okay. Collect materials and craft replacement parts for an impact hammer. So, what's this? Fabric? Okay. We've got road flares. Okay. Got more fabric, I'm guessing. Oh, we're gonna like go through everything here, aren't we?
And <laughs> are you are you a good are you a good driver, Toasted? <laughs> I'm sure you are. Anything else? Out in the zone, all on your own. They grow so fast, don't they? Oh, chemicals. Oh, nice. More chemicals. Been a long time, old gal. Didn't think we'd uh, talk again after that whole. Jazz you love drink drivers, but you love playing yes, driving games drunk. At least you're doing it in a safe, safe environment. That's actually the recommended way to drink drive. Hello to you too, Oppie. And no, I'm still here. It's very dark in here. Do I have a torch or something? I don't actually think I do. What's this? SRR meeting minutes. Okay. It is very, very dark. <laughs> my, uh, it was Burnout, Burnout Revenge was my, my main one. Uh, I loved playing Burnout Revenge when I was younger. Impact Hammer requires gears. Mm. Requires gears. Okay, well I've got, I've forgotten, I've got the scrapper so I can always scrap stuff. wonder if there's anything here that I can scrap, no? There is some funky stuff over here. I can also probably shave this car. Ah, oh, shit, yeah. Oh, spare tire. Like an entire spare tire? I like it. An entire spare tire? Should I be like nervous. Should it, like, will I, will people come and like attack me? Because I, I don't think this, this isn't like a horror, right? This is more of a, a thriller kind of thing. Please, someone tell me that. Breaking the bins. I bet you're dying to hear all about the remnants by now. How can you not? I'm a little busy trying to keep them alive. I'll keep to the basics, I promise. Oh and man, we're getting all the fabric. Into. Fine. I'm giving you 60 seconds. That is not nearly enough time to get... 55 seconds and counting. Okay, okay, okay. And sumo the electronics. Short, they're old objects that do all sorts of weird things. Okay. They bind themselves to people, and, and you're the latest victim. You and the car are inseparable now, so, so get acquainted. Once the remnant is bound to someone, they become gradually more obsessed with it. It takes over the victim's mind, until they go crazy and run off into the zone with it. Oh, great. No one has ever been able to resist its siren call. That fixation is probably worming its way into your brain as we speak. <laughs> this is the first time we've ever got our hands on one. Uh, but we know all about the past remnants, and oh gosh, this one time it materialized an old this? copper kettle, and the tea that came out of that thing, it was... And now oh. I'm splitting the transmissions going to your receiver. Anything yeah. critical to your immediate needs will broadcast directly and immediately to your radio and headset. Anything not mission critical will be on a low priority frequency. Those transmissions will be recorded and indexed for you to listen to at your leisure. And by low priority, I mean just about everything that comes out of Tobias's mouth. Okay, I am actually struggling to see stuff myself, so I'm going to look to turn the brightness up a little bit. That's fucking miles better. Okay, I can see now. Uh, looks like I can't go inside this thing. Can I just like... Okay, I can't just scrap walls. Or radio. No, my inventory's full. At least the scrapper's very cool. I don't know if I've turned the, have I turned the brightness up too much. Do you think? 
Right. First of all, gear. So we can craft gears with scrap metal. We can then grab the impact hammer. We can then go to this and... Can I just like double... Yeah, I can just double click stuff to... Might as well just store all of this. The real test of a game's inventory system is do I need to have the crafting materials in my inventory or can I take it from the cardboard boxes? Because if I can take it from the cardboard boxes, that's incredible and I like it a lot. Okay, this is the impact hammer. Well, that... Yeah, that... Yeah, that worked. Yeah, so I don't think we've got anything to worry about. Yeah, crafting from storage is top tier. It's excellent. All games should aspire. <laughs> No, to not drop... Why would... Why the fuck would you drop the impact hammer? Hold on. Inventory space. You move there. You move, like, there. Impact hammer. Okay, impact hammer's a big boy. We're gonna hot key it to... Three. The most Scottish sentence I can... I mean, to be honest, come on to fuck probably is the best one in my mind. Just come on to fuck. Come on to fuck. We, we really cooked with that one. It's, um... An expression of disbelief in someone, I would say. Did I just... Okay, so the scrapper can break. Fuck. Hey, fudging duck. Cheers for the follow. Clearly like that one. <laughs> Get yourself to fuck is definitely a Scottish thing as well. But come on to fuck said as like one whole word is flawless. Yes, come on to fuck. All tools can break. Well, that's just fucking typical. We're... Oh, I don't even have a... I don't have a fucking thing me for it. Oh, no, I do. Panic over. Collect materials and craft parts. Smash plasma generators for materials. Okay, we have done this. We can now continue. We just invite someone to ski into a cunt and finish. That is incredible. Have I just put myself in parking? No, I've turned the car off. Okay, on we go. Look at us. Oh, what the- what the fuck? No! No! What the fuck is those things? Water ski into a cunt is such a powerful <laughs> fucking thing. How do I escape those guys? I'm not sure how safe this is, but hey ho. I, I did, I got kidnapped by a weird trash tentacle monster. Go, go, go. 
that smash. I mean, it's kind of just like jamming. I don't think there's anything to worry about too much. Grab, 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 grab. Oh, your inventory's full, you fucking thing. To the cardboard boxes. How are we already at inventory full again? Hint store in fax machine. Interesting. Yeah, I, to be honest, I might actually store that. Was it the steel part? I probably don't need that right away. Crude door. Grab all that. There's something about this weapon that feels very, like, Fallout-y, but, like, in that kind of cosy Fallout 3 DLC kind of way. You know the vibe. Right, that steel sheet will get tucked away. This stuff will get backed away as well. Why does it say photo next to stuff? What do you mean? Oh, log photo. Good question. Don't quite know. Maybe I get a camera at some point? That ought to be prime pickings for antenna parts. I've loaded its approximate location to your map. Look for an antenna tower up on a hill somewhere. Okay, let's go. Antenna tower up on the hill. Start the car. Take out of park into drive. Because it's not called Pacific Park, is it? Fuck a little bastard. How do I um Maybe this way? Oh, uh, what is it with these guys? Lim is poison, they tricked us. this? Oh, fuck. Oh, we don't have abilities yet. Ah, abilities. Your dashboard. Oh, there's like a shitload of stuff. That new guy disappear? I think so. Oh no, he didn't. He's there. Let me in. Right, toolbox. What have we got? We've got some stuff. Any... Nah, nothing here. Any, any chemicals? Oh, it's locked. Huh. How do I get in there? Oh, an Arda crate. Hey, Blue. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm <with> this. <laughs> yeah, I do have a private Arda ship. Nice. Pressurized cartridges, gas cylinders. I realise that chat occasionally is talking amongst themselves rather than to me. Okay, so... I mean, we've got four doors and we've got... The wheels are like all okay, I think. 
for the most part. Copper wire seems quite... I mean, I'm guessing there's things that I... Like... So there's... Okay, so there's that's the objective that we're going. This is just the kind of general area that we're cruising around. Turn on car, put in drive, let's skedaddle. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think anything's going to fall out my boot. Per se. Sorry, my trunk. Um, I don't actually see why I'm putting it in park each time, but I am, so. Wait, was that just in here? No, I wasn't. It was a different one. Uh, grab that. Grab the repair putty, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that. Nice, a good haul. Anything interesting here? There's one toolbox. Quite a lot of parts. Try pressing T. Oh. Oh. Oh, what the fuck? What have you done? Ah, transfer materials. No, transfer materials back the way. No! <laughs> Why would it not let me transfer the materials the other direction? Surely. I think I passed a bag. Ah, there's one. Yeah. Thank you. You're my eyes and ears and mouth and nose. Head, shoulders, knees and toes. Okay. Time to drive. You see brain cell? It's actually brain cell singular. <laughs> we each get a turn. Okay, so, continuing on here. I mean, from a damage perspective, are we, like, is it catastrophic engine damage that's bad, as opposed to like little bumps in a like? Do we go over a pothole and suddenly we've got like um, everything's ruined? Oh, we can totally pry that. Yeah. Recommended tool is a scrapper. Time to just destroy stuff. We get more copper wire, which is good because we need that for the engine, which I imagine allows us to go faster at some point. I'm quite enjoying how chill this is. You're just like jumping in out of the little buildings, going like, yeah, I need some of that stuff. I mean, that's a lab computer, shit. Press T when I'm looting. What do you mean T when I'm looting? All that does is scan for a warp location. Okay, we've got another hazmat. So I can hold E to put a certain item in my hand. Um. 
But then I basically have to mash E to pick up everything. Oh, a receiver. Nice. I imagine it recommends the scrapper. More electronics. Okay, so I've got quite a lot of copper wire now, which is good. Don't know if I've got enough to build that red thing yet. Let me just double check again. Oh, there's this wee thing. Oh, just straight up a 9 volt battery. Sweet. Okay, I'll get... I'll... Surely... Alright, okay, so I need to hover over the right bag and then press T. Because it goes, whoa! 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 Oh, okay. I see now. Still need gas cylinders, I need a lot more steel sheets, I need copper wire, but I've got enough rubber, which is good. Okay. Start the car, put it in, drive. None of this put it in gear nonsense, we're putting the car in drive mode. And we're stopping immediately. I'm anxious about my fuel level, so I'm just turning the I should probably put the parking brake on as well. No, don't destroy my car! Fuck! No, my boy, my sweet innocent boy, has been frazzled by the electric. Up on a hill somewhere. Fuck. Eyes to the horizon. Hold on, I've got some. I don't know if this is good or not. Our rotten soldier, our good time boy. I don't know if keeping this here is doing more damage or not. Like, the ele the electric is gone. I'm guessing that's the receiver up on the hill there. I kind of want to... Hold up. Oh, is it just gonna... When in doubt, go it out. I mean, it seems okay, it's just got a permanent electric status on it now. It's just fine. Let's, I'm just gonna quickly check my inventoire. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, time to jog up this hill to the old receiver, transmitter, radio shack. Video killed the radio star. It'll tell me that I need like a shitload of stuff to repair it and I'll have to run down. This is not the radio place, this is the checkpoint. I have gone the wrong way. Although this is cool. Once upon a time, zone travel was heavily monitored. As instances of instability and unpredictable weather increased, regular checkpoints were installed not only for security, but also to track movement to ensure employees were journeying safely through the region. We allowed Arda to monitor each vehicle and send out search teams to find any they had not recently checked in. Unstable regions could be even closed off and safe routes opened up in response to the ever-changing hazards of the zone. Trespassing may have been one kind of problem, but in an increasingly unpredictable corner of the world, this was soon eclipsed by lost or missing colleagues and equipment. These days, the few remaining zone inhabitants use the still functioning, still reliable access markers to determine which roads are stable enough to travel on. Well, that's nice. I don't want to give away any spoilers, but I think most people know that Matt Berry is in Fallout. 
and he does a really good job in it. Uh, I would. Uh, is anyone? Is anyone watched the series all the way through? Or I, I think they've done a really good job. I, I kind of want to gush about it, but I, I know that um, not enough time has passed for people to have like watched it all. But I genuinely think they have nailed it. They've done a really, really good fucking job. Um, and I can't wait for season two. I was so nervous when they announced season two before season one had even released. But what the fuck is that? Those are people. No, those are mannequins, not people. Don't like. Keep driving. Keep driving. Keep driving. Oh no, I do not like this. One bit. I will not hug one. My impact. Oh fuck. What is a tourist? I'm half expecting to turn round and it'll be like fucking Blink from Doctor Who. It'll be the Weeping Angels. That would be scary as shit, actually. Don't like that. Can I scrap them? <laughs> Me with my chainsaw blades. Right, let's see what's in here. What does that say? Welcome, visitor. Oh, no. Don't like. Chemicals. A, oh, a transmuter? What the fuck? What does that do? Suppose I should check the logbook. Please find attached the installation plan of these newer compact LIM converters along with my resignation from ardour effective immediately. It has become the favoured pastime of my peers to gripe about the youth of today, but I find myself sentimental. Maybe the next generation will be the ones to right our wrongs. Their bright-eyed, bushy-tailed optimism reminds me of the early days when we thought LIM's technology's potential was limitless. This machine is a step forward uh, to, sorry, this machine is a step toward that original vision where limb bridges the gap between the materials given to us and our imaginations. Sure. Okay. Turns water into wine and all that jazz. Nice. Gonna be called Jesus machines from now on. Really don't like how creepy all those folk are. And we can't get into here. Can I... Oh, can I not climb in here? Oh. There is a door. Refrigerator, grab that. What's that? Canned food. Always good. Uh, anything here? No. Enter a room with a red light, that's never good. Just more stuff though. Sorry, I should just be hitting T every time. Yeah, not a massive fan of how creepy that thing is. Oh fuck, there's a steel... Don't like that. <laughs> why, did, why did the ground just do that? Oh, it did it again! Oh. I don't know. No. No, no, no. No. Seems a bit foolish, this. Ooh. 
steel door. Nice, more steel scrap metal, steel panels. Do we have any sweet treats in the house? <laughs> I don't think so. I'm afraid not. Not after the fire. There was, wasn't a fire. I was, I was gonna, I was gonna fucking embellish on like, oh, there was the great fire of, you know, the kitchen or whatever that claimed all of our sweet treats. But there, there, there hasn't been a fire. Make a mug cake. What's a mug cake? I was supposed to say nothing as sweet as you, my. Oh, Jessica would punch me in the face if I did that. She would be like. If, because see, that's a that's a compliment that is hides behind the fact that I'm saying that there's no sweet treats in the house, so it's punishable by death. I would just get bodied for cheek. Oh, I don't like that. Go back down. None of this off-road nonsense. What happens if you're flying down the road at like 120 miles per hour and all of a sudden the road just does that? <laughs> just like, <"Wah!" laughs> get fucked. <laughs> you just get yeeted. Okay, there's a little house here. Another house. Don't like that. I think a lot of things, a lot of sounds in this game can just be like, nope, not a fan of that. Dislike that. Ah, a trash can. A trash can that's filled with copper wire and other goodies. Ah, radio. I'm not sure if it's just me, but do any of you hear, like, a sighing as well? I, like, every so often I feel like I hear a very kind of feminine, kind of half grumpy, half forest nymphy. <sighs> That's what I imagine a forest nymph sighing is like. There you go. Bit of scrap on the cabin floor, sorry. I'll go and get that immediately. There you are, pesky plastic. It's either that or there's something like directly behind me off camera sighing very creepily. Ah! I was going to say, I can't wait to have half of that, but I imagine it's gone by now. <laughs> Devastated. If that was a link, Miss Black, uh, can fire it to one of the... Uh, just drop it in the Twitch channel in Discord, actually. So this is where the old thingy majig is. Right. Park. Turn off the car. Exit the vehicle. Lime. Right, uh, seriously, are none of you hearing that weird sigh? Time to get moving. The instability's ticking up by the second. But you can't get back the way you came. The instability oh. makes all routes one way. And that's where my Octavice comes into play. It'll get you back to the garage, but it needs to be charged first. And to do that, you'll need anchors. Take a look at the Octavice display. 
Ah, it rips right. all anchors in the nearby area. Find an anchor and feed it to the Octavice to charge it. Uh, but don't you worry your pretty little head about how it works. You'll be out of here soon, so there's no reason to learn more about limb technology than you need to know. I don't know, I feel like having a basic understanding of limb technology would be useful. So hold on, do I... How do I put this away? Do I put this in the storage? Yeah, I do. Cool. Oh, do not open that door. Okay. The nice thing about driving in this game is you don't actually have to worry about um, oncoming cars and stuff. Yeah, I couldn't. The uh, there was like padlocks on it, but I couldn't use my crowbar. Oh, what the fuck? Damn, OP. But isn't it worth taking a detour to run just a tiny little test? Can't think of a worse way to spend my time. Please. I've seen you manipulate waveforms with your right hand and knock back a double with your left. Or am I to understand you've <laughs> lost your touch? Oh no, my tire's flat. Fuck. You will shut the hell up until I test this remnant. No! Fine, stop crowding my frequency. What? Wait, really? Poppy, darling, you never give in this easily. What's what's going on? Francis? Uh, y yes? How have you not thrown him to the bunnies by now? <laughs> 80 years old and only getting sharper by the day. You're a legend. You're a role model. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Don't be scared. Yep. In anyone's face. Recently. The arc device is charged and ready. Okay. You'll use it to open a gateway back to the garage. But it will immediately collapse the stability around you. So only activate when you're absolutely ready to leave. You do not want to get caught in the storm that follows. I don't quite know what it's asking me to do now. It's like... Select gateway coordinates on the map. Okay. Can I just be anywhere? Oh, right, shit, okay, so it's... Oh, it's over there. Am I going, like, proper off-road now? Ah, piss! You see that glowing pillar in the sky? Drive into it. Ah, I get it, it now. It's so much better than getting scrambled by the instability. Go, 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 go! I feel like maybe I did that too far away. But man, what an action sequence. Drive! Let's go. Oh, fuck, my tire's flat. Oh, this was a terrible idea. Go! No, come on, you big bastard. Oh, that is a bit of a flashbang. Oh, well, well. You're Hooray. alive. I'm certain if the zone didn't get you, that gateway would. Our first trip to the zone. Did 
Yeah, I guess so. You're the first human I've sent through that thing. I mean, they're the rodents, but it's not like it's completely untested. But anyway, Wait, what? it worked. So, you should have made it back with everything you collected out there. That's the beauty of the gateway. It's the only way to get back with all your marbles intact. Now, <laughs> the <laughs> feed, oh, feed in the mic. <laughs> yep. It's a bastard. That station will concoct ways for you to rig up anything from roof racks to flare guns. Assembling an antenna with those parts you brought back should be easy as pie. But it requires anchor juice to work its magic, so bring back as many as you can. And just because I haven't used that garage in decades doesn't mean you can trash the place, mess up my equipment, and I'll throw you to the anomaly so quick you'll get whiplash. Be clear? She's quite, um... Angry? Is that a flat tire? That doesn't look like a flat tire. Okay, impact hammer time. Let's go. Fuck yeah. I fear no storm. What's this? Fabrication station. Love it. Oh. Oh. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, I like this. Scanning antenna kit. Warning hands only. That's fair. Install the antenna kit on the roof. How? Ah, there we go. Up we go. There we are. Now that. Oh, that's fucking cool. <laughs> Me with my lightning rods, just like, yep, yeah, perfect. Install handbrake? Wait, what? All this time? I've not had a handbrake? Cool, sure. Um... Crude bumper. How does one? What the fuck? Oh, I'm very confused. Right. Okay, so I can now take this in my hands and insert it into the car. Make sure to empty your trunk before heading back out. You'll need the space. Sure. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. No, this this makes sense. I quite like this. Do I need to put it in the dumpster? Really? Friendly dumpster. Okay. Oh. The the transfer trunk. What the fuck is that? And we're patched. Everything's in working shape. I, I thought this was the place to store stuff. Is the is that the transfer trunk or Okay, let's just chuck that for now. Uh, we'll heal ourselves at the aid station. Use the transfer trunk to unload Alexi Okay. Wait, so
I'm kind of confused, but I do like the checklist down the side, 100% blue. Grab from there, transfer to there. Grab from there, as well as this. Can I not rotate? I can. Don't know why it wouldn't auto rotate, but sure. It says there's a, is the store in fax machine. Is there a fax machine in here? Kind of get the feeling there should be, but doesn't look like it. Oh, what's that? Vargas Autovac. Huh. No worries, Jumble Jen. Just for hanging out. Okay, charge the battery. We will fill the tank. Nice. Uh, headlights in good condition. Now, as far as I'm aware, we've actually only got the one headlight. We should probably make another one. Okay. Which we can now install. Nice. Then... Panels, doors, and bumpers installed. Okay. So we've got crude panels that we can totally build. And like, I can install there. I can pick up that one. Install that there. We've got a crude bumper on the back. I don't think. Yeah, we don't have a rear bumper, so we'll grab one of those. Nice. Cool. And then it says doors, but. I mean, it doesn't really ask me for. Uh, back door. I don't know what else it's wanting from me, really. I'm gonna go and check that uh, fabricator as well. So, matter deconstructor requires four gears. Energy efficient, economical, and probably even ethical, the matter deconstructor will recycle car components in seconds. So be careful not to get your hands caught in the suspension matrix. And then that frees up things like expanded locker, outfitting station, improved antenna, detailing. <laughs> if there's something to increase inventory space, get yes. Okay. okay. I like that that just hoovers up everything around the area. That's cool. Okay, so, gears will make four. Because we'll make four and then we'll put it in... This. Boom. We don't have the fucking scrap metal for it, you're joking. Although it looks like this is reset. Which is kind of interesting. So we'll just grab the stuff from here then. My only downside will be that we'll probably have to get another fucking um, scrapper after we've scrapped all of this stuff. Grab, grab, grab. There is a tire there. I'm not sure whether to grab it at the moment. It does say tires in good condition, three out of four. Hmm. 
Nice, got all that. Grab that. Grab that. Cool, I think we're good on the scrap metal front now. We don't have a battery jumper, but I don't know. I've not seen that in the fabricating thing. Where does this go? I'm not gonna lie, I love the fact that we're like permanently changing the garage as well. I love that. You're improving your car, and you're also doing this. Right, let's punch that. Oh, I thought that was like a way to narrow it down. Why is this not allowing me to pick up that tire? Interesting. I'll, ha I'll have a look. Just. Oh no, it is all. Oh god, no. Oh, that's a lot. Cool, so you can improve the doors, the wheels, you get summer. God. Summer tire, puncture proof, all terrain, paddle. Power grip, expansion racks. Holy moly, that's a lot of stuff. Magnetic bumper, engines, turbo light engine, limb chip. Whoa. Yeah, you get a you get a <laughs> you get to play with it for now. That's cool. Okay, so we still need to charge the battery, apparently. The car's not on, though. Are we just running constantly? We need to repair the car. Can anyone see which thing isn't installed? The only other door that I can think of is a door for here, but that seems like it's not the thing. We'll craft a battery jumper just so we see we have it. I'm also going to craft some more repair putty because apparently we need our bat, we need our car in top sheet. Steel door has a slight bump in it. Front right door. Tires in good condition. Okay, so that one's in bad condition. I don't know what the deal with it is. Is it... Yeah, it's loose and I need a mechanics kit to fix it. Shit. Mechanics kit? Do I have one? Do I? Fuck. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. I'm guessing the car's on and that's what's causing the issue. Um, I'm going to put that up here, putty in for now. I'm going to put the med kit in for now as well. And still don't know what to do with this, but I'll just leave it for now. That can go into. Yeah, my pry bar will die. I'm kind of hoping that I find more stuff in the the open before I uh, have to deal with it. I don't know what this hand vac's really supposed to do. Like, oh right, it's for me to hoover up shit. Okay. Don't know if I really need that. It's not like a massive issue. Sorry, I was looking for a mechanics kit. Crafting one of them. People use this here. Let's see. Right, so panels, doors, and bumpers installed. So crude bumper there. There is nothing that pops up. Crude panel. 
Crit door, steel door. What's the issue with the steel door? That's cracked. So I need a sealant kit. What the fuck? Oh. Seems like quite a. And now that, that just straight up uses it. Oh, it's a it's a trunk door that it's that I don't have enough for. Okay. Okay. Charge the battery. And off we go, I guess. Where are we going? Use screen on left side of dashboard to assign car abilities. So we can add a handbrake, which is sure. Um, it says find your way into town, but it doesn't. Oh, can I pan? I mean, it's. Uh, uh, fuck. Is this way, I'm guessing? It doesn't let me zoom out, so... Okay, I remember that door opening by itself last time. What's going on? Is it because I haven't done the full driver's checklist? Oh, it's because I need ah, root planner. Verification a one and done thing. Hmm. I'm sending you to visit Colossal Cappy. If that old anomaly doesn't induce electromagnetic resonance in your car, then we're free from Tobias's fever dreams, and we can get you out of here. Is that what the antenna fixed? You can now detect stabilized road junctions in the outer zone. You've got a stable route heading straight to Cappy's front door, but the energy readings are off the roof. I advise you not to take the zone lightly. You better gear up or you may not survive the trip. Which would make my life easier, so... Your mm -hmm. call. Kinda hesitant to go to that one right away. I'd quite like to, like, get stuff. So... What do we think? Just any of these? I'm guessing E5's where we've been. Let's do this one. <laughs> yeah. I do like how good our character is. Right, more stuff. And it looks like we're going this way, I guess. Okay, time to drive. Time to Pacific drive. I just realised that maybe my battery was being drained because I had my headlights on for some reason. That wouldn't have been the smartest move. Nice. Sorry, Blue. Chat just went fast. Thank you for the hydrate, Toasted. Oh, no, I don't say you're used to it. <laughs> Heavy fog. Excellent. Well, that's promising. If there's one thing we like, it's heavy fog. What do you think the plan should be, folks? Do you think it should be to kind of stop at every wee bit? Or, I mean, because obviously, definitely I need those crude panels. Um, you know, any kind of scrap that I can take, especially if it's like steel um, or the, the, the actual panels as opposed to the, the other stuff. It's hard not to stop at everything, eh? It's very, very Moorish in that regard. 
See, that's okay. So that's a spare tire, right? But it's not letting me, like, pick it up. Normally it's like hold E to to like collect, but it doesn't let me do that. So what? Oh, I just did I just destroy it for its delicious rubber. The remnants are like us in a way. Those of us who chose to stay behind, we are as discarded and forgotten as they are. And by okay. chose to stay, you mean actively defying government orders to evacuate? Then yes. You remember how we yeah. went without electricity for four months to dodge the clearing crews? <laughs> There's like what? Only a hundred of us left? If even that. Hundred people left in this zone. Able to move on for one reason or another. Oh, speak for yourself. I'm here for the hunt. Hey, even better now. There's no one to get in our way. Okay. Yeah. You know what? I'm. You know what will be terrifying? If, see if I'm driving through this fog at one point, and there's those fucking mannequins from before. I'll, that'll be a horrible experience. I will drive right through them in panic. Hey, driver. Not to be a downer or nothing, but uh, I'm wondering what we do if you can't find a way out of the zone. They got themselves over the wall. They'll find a way to survive here, like the rest of us. I've just realised what the sighing is. It's the wind up of the the scrapper. <laughs> yeah, it's the wind up and wind down of the scrapper. That's creepy. <laughs> Controlled fundamental forces of nature with your fingertips. Both of you did. <sighs> Slow down there, kid. We were scientists. Not all this. Boy, I mean, look, hey, to someone who was all thumbs when it came to science, they're one and the same. I just don't understand why you're wasting away here, borrowed away in the zone. Both of you, you're sitting on so much lost potential. Potential is a carrot on a stick for the young. <laughs> An illusion to keep you forging on when you should have given up long ago. Nothing had more potential than limb technology. And look what it did to the Olympic Peninsula. What, what I is happening to me? Look around. We're stuck here for good. All we can do is hmm. survive. Everything else is moot. I forgot what a charmer you are, Oppie. An absolute living ray of sunshine and optimism. Yeah. <laughs> The banter between the um, the folks quite good. Okay, so I'm gonna take the left. I think I'm not gonna bother turning right here. I'll just take left. There is something up there which is quite interesting. That looks like a radio transmitter kind of thing. Yeah, I'll allow me to kind of swing by here. Nice. Alrighty. There was another message in there. What do you mean? I don't think I've been picking up messages. Oh, another message isn't on the wall. Oh, let me out. Gotcha. Let me in. Oh no, I've been in drive all this time. Yeah, this is creepy. Also, I feel like I'm driving literally like <laughs> five seconds and then be like, oh, another car. Better dismember it. Manual fatigue. What the fuck do you mean? All car components suffer wear and tear. This is even more pronounced in the zone. Eventually, almost every component's going to need replacing. Great. Like the scrapper that just completely burnt out. Scrapper, 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 scrapper. Nice. Scrapper is back on. Grab, 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 grab. It's interesting that sometimes it doesn't give you the panel. Because the one back at the kind of base gave you the panel, but I wonder what that's. Wonder why that is. Grab, grab, grab. 
There's an impact hammer thing over here, so I'm going to grab that. Oh, there's three. Oh, God. Keep going, keep going. Electricity's angry. Okay, so I need the plasma because the plasma helps me. Is, is the plasma the thing that allows me to do the fabrication? I think. Slightly off the beaten path here. But there was something over here that I'm going to grab. And it is very creepy. Fucking electrician's kit. I don't think we've got that. It's a bunch of scrap at least. Ah, uh, no worries, Miss Black. Hopefully the car stuff goes goes okay. The sound in this game is creepy, like. Very good sound design. Very freaked out. Okay, I'm actually miles away from anything. Grab this in the meantime. What's everyone's plans for this week? Have you got anything to do? Like, what, is, what day is it today? It's fucking Tuesday. Feels like it's been a lot more than Tuesday. Dog will get in spade tomorrow. Ah, I'm sure it'll go fine. No, oh, no, I do not want warp location. I don't know what I just did. No, I did not want that. Let's transfer there. Feels like a Thursday. It does feel like a Thursday. Gonna head that way. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I like how advanced this card is. I like the compass, I like the kind of this the panel that you get. It's very cool. Oh fuck. Don't like the amount of glowing here. Is that good? No, that is not good. That's not good. Not good. Not good. Not good. It does say I'm safe, apparently, but... I didn't feel particularly safe there. Ah. So I can't enter the glowing zones. Kinda makes sense. It makes sense and yet I'm so fucking intrigued. Yes sir, we lost total control sir, veered off the road and straight into a house full of squatters. Sick sir, it's like something just took control of the truck, screwed it all up and sent it every which way. No sir, only Jackson who probably has a broken wrist. Everyone else is fine, while all these squatters only seemed a little scared. Well, sir, thing is, we actually think they're foreign, they're dressed kind of strangely, they have hats and flannel shirts. Canadians? I thought Canada was north of Seattle. Victoria? Who's she? <laughs> oh, I see. Well, if we can get a translator on the line, I'm sure we can work that out very fast. I mean French, sir. But I thought the Canadians spoke French. Miller dated a Canadian and she spoke French. Oh, I see. But I'll try that now. 
Uh, hello in there. Are you alright? Hello, do you understand me? We come in peace. Me American. You Canadian. Friends. Sir, I think they're unhappy. <laughs> what the fuck? I like to think that that's just how Americans <laughs> talk to Canadians all the time. <laughs> okay. Oh, what's this? A flare gun. I mean, sure. Don't know what that's for. Just for, for firing flares more than anything. I kind of guess I'm not supposed to walk into the middle of that, you know? I'm getting don't walk into the middle of that vibes. How am I doing on tires? Just checking all my tires. Getting radiated while I'm at it. Okay, let's just get in. We will start the car. Drive. Should probably. Yeah, let's head here. I feel like this is very much a game that I could spend ages in. Like, just can. Oh, fuck. Just continually doing loops of this. It'd be amazing. I am going to stop, I just wanted to kind of get, like, in the middle. Yeah, there we go. I'm guessing that's electricity over there, so I'll need to use the impact hammer again. Impact hammer doesn't have a lot left in it, but... Okay, cabinet. Grab everything. Uh, this will break my pry bar. Grab that. Um, that's a lot of fabric. We find way more fabric than anything else. Turns out a lot of things in this world are made of fabric. Nothing else here. Guitar. No point in opening that door, that just leads us outside. Okay, we'll hop, skip and jump over here. I don't like all the stuff that's whispering to me from the shadows. That's not horrible. It's all Arda's fault. Sure is. Another dresser full of shit. Another crate. Nothing to really destroy here and it looks like Arda's got these like sealed kind of things they do. Yeah, that's not the normal thing. That's just another anomaly. That's a sizzling mist anomaly. What's this, though? Pneumatic deposit box. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Fuck, I need that thing. Sodium vapor. What? Huh. Cool, I picked up a bulb. Don't know what it does, but... Yeah. Hey, Al, how you doing? Welcome to my nightmare. I'm going to put the flare gun in because I don't really need it. The bulb can go in as well. That is one giant fucking bulb, I'll tell you that much. I now need to go back and get that steel thing. 
There's also a house over there that I'm going to grab. Grab the entire house and bring it with me. Hehe. <laughs> Wait a second, was this on the map? I don't remember there being a house over here and... Fuck, I don't have the pry bar. Ugh, oh, idiot. Assassin's Creed Falker. To be fair, I would actually play that. I'm not even joking, I would play that. I'm totally not sure how to feel about the Star Wars Outlaws game. I've heard that they are now doing a... They've like locked one of the Jabba the Hutt missions behind paid fucking day one DLC. Which to me is just, why the fuck would you do that? You like, there's so much good faith in you for making a solid Star Wars RPG. Characters look interesting. It was genuinely like one of the things on my radar. I'm speaking about this as a, like, I'm a, technically a Ubisoft partner. I just do not understand why you would make that decision as, like, it's... Do they, do they obviously know how it looks, surely? You would think that they would at this point, but by fuck, it's so annoying. Sounds about Solus is the, the Sims 4 Star Wars DLC, good god. Yeah, that sounds like hell. I I don't I don't know. Uh, to be honest, it's probably just like, oh, how do we extract more money? But it's like a hundred and thirty dollars for the fucking ultimate edition. Who the hell is like? Wh why? Why would you do that? <laughs> it's so so unnecessary. Like, I'm sorry, but one, one mission, like, isn't going to make me buy the Ultimate Edition. It will, however, make me reconsider buying the game. I hope that makes sense. I feel like that should make sense. Ah, oh, no, nah, one of my tires is used. I hate it when one of my tires gets juiced. Oh no. I don't like all of these mists. Also, these roads are pretty treacherous. Check my mirrors, check my mirrors. Actually, I can't really see my mirror on my right there. That's probably not best. Oh! Not seen a truck like that before. Alrighty. Holy fuck! Now we're talking. Give me some of that shit. Right. Yep, bumper. We'll need to. I mean, that's huge, is the only downside. That's absolutely massive. Blue paint, ton of decoration stuff. Wait, hold on. I don't know why it's saying like pack as in... Why is it throwing up kind of red flags for that? I don't think there's anywhere that will fit my bumper actually unless I move like a shitload around. Um, well, not shitload, actually, we're fine. Cool, we'll take the spare bumper back, because if anything, we can just recycle it. Fuck. God damn it. Don't know why I'm moving. Maybe I can move that there. Move this here. Move that. There. Oh, look at me. Inventory management. Yeah. Don't speak to me about inventory management ever again. That noise was very creepy.
You know, destroy the steel door. Grab all that good shit. Because at the end of the day, it might as well collect this stuff. I don't know if there's... Is there not an auto sort? I'll check, but I don't think so. At least not that I could see. In fairness, I didn't really look, but... Normally I do a cursory glance of... Does this have an auto sort that makes my life a million times easier? Let's see. Uh, I mean, it's got rearrange, but that's like, you just click it, so... Nah, I don't believe so. Mm. Right, one of our tires is a little bit fucked. Yeah, this one. This one requires... This one is both bald and needs fixed. Jesus. So that's bald, we don't have a fix for a bald tire, that's just fucked. Shit, we could have just grabbed one of these. Can I just grab one of these? Oh. No. How do I... I must be able to take these tires off, right? That I'm... Can I? I mean, I could, I could, could make a new one. Okay, new one acquired. And then I need to pop that down, unscrew that one, shove that down, pick this one back up. Screw this one back on. And what, just chainsaw this one, I guess? I mean, sure. That is quite strange. I would expect to be able to... remove a tire from a car that I've found. Just because I seem to be able to do, like, pretty much everything else. I'm guessing it's wanting to encourage me to scrap and then use the material to make new ones. But I'm not sure whether to like go down there and get the thing that I need and then run back. Maybe the thing to do. Even if there is that fucking thing. Okay, let's not get electric. Ah, fuck. Oh, what the fuck? I have no idea what just launched the weird thing at me. I am dead. Back. Hold on. Stop screaming at me. Is this health? It is. Haha. This is how I heal. I have no idea what that thing was that kind of like flew past me. Then there's the the box. A dumpster pearl. What the fuck? Get me to grab up this stuff. Yeah. Hey, that's my fucking car! What a little shit! I have no idea what the fuck this is. Is it good?
Can I, can I scrap it? How's my driving sticker? Great. Um. Ah, shit. Okay, so, hold on. Let's... Let's eat this stuff. Because I need it for my health. Which apparently I can just use V for. So I can actually eat some of my food and that'll... Um, free up some space. Ah, that bumper's taking up so much fucking room. It's a bit annoying. Okay. Yeah, it did say Broken Bunny. That was kind of odd. I have no idea what that is. That's great. I don't know what a dumpster peril really is. Slice a peril in half and you'll find thousands of layers of precious materials formed around a core. Break one of those apart and who knows what will come pop out. Ah, don't know. I'm guessing that I'd put it on the ground and hit it. Ah, yeah, the friendly dumpster. Hmm. Good show. Right, now I'm going to equip my hoover thing. I don't really have much more space in my inventory, so I'm going to be like... Wait, did this not say use the hand vacuum? Well, this is doing absolutely fuck all. Okay, what a waste. Okay. Okay, turn that on. We are in drive. So the only thing, uh, to be honest, I'm actually, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna return, because what I'll do is I'll begin my way back, because I'm, I've got, I don't have the space. Ah, shit. It's fine. It'll close by itself, car doors are like that. Or not. Oh, come on, it should have swung closed by now. Hard door led to me getting fried. Oh, I'm fucked. Hold on. It's like an enclosing storm. Oh, I'm an idiot. Why did that not link? Wait, what? What the fuck? It says link gateway, but there's no... Gateway too close. Ah, no! Yeah, not at this rate. Ah. Oh wait, hold on. So I can link up with that gateway now? Yeah, no shit, there's danger. Right, let's... Okay, we're... Ah, 
No hope. There's always hope. Even if there's a fool's hope. This game is very clever. Back. Okay, we've got this. We've got this. Watch out for the light, folks. Wait, there's vehicle protection? Woo! Mechty me. I mean, we did make it. We might have lost a door in the process, but we made it. But my, my, what's this? Are you learning a thing or two? No. My dear newbie, there's hope for you yet. Did we learn anything? Absolutely not. <laughs> Hence the whole missing door thing. Activate the driver's checklist at the stats monitor. There we go. I did. Very proud. What's this? Okay, store all the paints and decals. So we'll grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that, grab that. And we'll just transfer. Probably missing the one that I've got in my hand. Sure. Okay. Is there a way to easily transfer this into my thing? The other thing that I had? No? I mean, to be fair, it's not the bumpers that are the problem. Right, might as well refuel. Chuck that back down. Need to... Yeah, so this transfer trunk... I am doing this, right? Grabbing that. Chucking it in. Grabbing this. Chucking it in. It seems quite... Is this how you're supposed to do it? It doesn't feel like it. Okay, I will chuck this into this. Nice. That gives me bonus stuff. Oh shit, there's like so much I can buy now. Is there an inventory space thing? Matter regenerator? Ingenious limb technology. Wait, so what does this do? Alright, okay, so ingenious limb technology and advanced spectral mechanical acoustics are used to repair car components stored in this station while you're out on a drive. So that's one thing. Uh, integrated thermosap heat sinks allow this antenna to be activated multiple times before overheating. I'm guessing that's a range thing? That's a... no, I thought that was a backpack. Fuck. Upgrading cars is one thing, now it's time to spend a few of those zone resources upgrading yourself. Yes, please. I'm inclined. Nice. Oh, I fucking love it. It's great. Canned food, fabric, a fucking door, Jesus, several doors, holy fuck. Well, actually, I needed a door, so... That's pretty helpful, thank you. I don't know if I need another door. Just a helpful... Oh, shit, that door's a steel door, that one's a crude door. Ah, okay. 
Right, I think I'm going to chuck this in here. I don't know what happened to that. Hmm. Nah, I'll, I will I will finish up after I've done my upgrades here. Fuel your vehicle faster. Uh, nah. Right, let's have a look at some of these stuff. So, bulb. A tungsten filament encased with a glass shell of inert gas. Contemporary incandescent lamps are so energy inefficient that they produce more heat than light. Like, Alright, oh, oh, this is um, blueprints. That's useful. Go away. This. Right. Blowtorch, light replacement kit, hand vac, something called the Liberator, anchor radar, magnetic hammer. Eh. Relatable flare, headlight, side floodlights, steel panels, steel doors, Summer tires, spare tire, summer tire. So maybe summer tire might be a good shout. Less precise than a cutting tool, the Liberator will nevertheless cleanly and carefully remove individual sections of a vehicle by precisely placing small explosive charges. Cool. Kinda keen to like upgrade my car a bit. Allowing the mounting of an additional piece of equipment to the side of the car. That's cool, I like that. But you need to get like a whole bunch of shit sorted first. Like what's... A limp pulse emitter. This is not a pun, it's a carefully calibrated device capable of discharge, discharging randomly timed electromagnetic pulses. This generally makes it extremely difficult for most organic and electronic entities to hold on to or harm the car. Yes? Okay, so that's just a blueprint. Sure. We need to research bulbs, but we don't have enough stable energy. So we've got nothing available now, right? Ah. Fuck! Okay. What about this stuff? Medium backpack. Let's fucking go. Now we're talking. We've also got powered boots. Enjoy softer and safer landings, courtesy of the power of plasma technology. Grounded sweater. A very rudimentary solution to the many zaps and shocks you might suffer. This will do for now. That actually does do for now. That's gonna be pretty good, I think. <laughs> you got <a> lead apron. <laughs> oh, this is so good, man. Ah, oh. hope you enjoyed this first stream because you're never gonna fucking see me again. I'm just gonna be playing this. Also, check it out. That car has got more. Plus, I've got six slots in my my hot key inventory. That was a steel sheet I got there, not uh, not one of the other ones. Improved backpack. Now with more slots. Wasn't there something about obsession and getting stuck in the zone? <laughs> yeah, that might have also been the game. Yeah. Maybe. Maybe this is all my fault. I like it, it's good. Did I end up feeding that clam thing? No, I didn't. Can I feed the peril to this? How does this thing work? It just... Like... Oh. D 
Do you think I just been that? I don't really know how this works. Oh, that just destroys that. That's not good. Okay, I'm going to put this in the destructor and it better be good. Holy fucking shit. Okay, it's good. More of those, please. Look how many fucking steel sheets I got. Uh, right, transfer all that. I need to put this in the detailing station, which is... We don't have the detailing station yet, do we? We've not even unlocked it. Which is a bit of a nuisance. Adds a storage locker for tools. Ah, we need some more stable energy. Oh no, I'm gonna- Ah, oh, man. If this has like multiple saves, there's a- uh, there's a problem. I could spend a long time playing this. Like, I'm nervous because this could spend- I could spend a really long time playing this. Why is my checklist not appearing? Oh, it's like because it's collapsed, expanded. Why is it not showing? Yeah, wee bit confused. No, 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 I, I do, I should, I, I, I respect that I shouldn't continue for much longer. I'm gonna get my car kind of like ready to go. With my super glue or whatever it is. Um, I have, uh, I've actually started reading that book that I went to the, the book signing for. It's called Alien Clay. Um, it's quite interesting because it's got quite a strong, um, anti, um, anti-dictator -dic uh, regime vibe. Good book sort of thing. Um, right, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna touch anymore. I'm gonna go to just chat briefly. Uh, but yeah, it's called Alien Clay. Um, it's about a guy who is a, a dissident in uh, back on Earth, um, and he gets sent uh, to a planet that the the Mandy, which are the kind of big bad uh, evil government, um, the they send all of their kind of prisoners to like work camps, just in kind of far remote regions, like one way trip. You're gonna go there. You're gonna do. What you're told and um you know you'll die there so it's quite interesting from that perspective but one of the things that uh, i quite like about it and what the author was kind of saying about it was like even if a evil regime has the most kind of like has the most guns right is how he kind of put it like, it always has to try and justify itself. Um, so, like, it kind of... Obviously, there's the kind of immediate... Dictatorships are bad, everyone. And, you know, regimes like that, fascist regimes like that are are bad. Um, but it was it's a kind of message about how in their attempt to constantly justify themselves, it means that they're you're always able to unpick them. And there's always people out there that will unpick them and challenge them um so it's even if it is a little bit on the it's not it's not bleak per se as in you know these regimes exist uh but it is quite it's quite hopeful 
um, in that kind of messaging. So anyway, that's Alien Clay. I've just kind of started reading that. I'm, you know, literally a couple of chapters in, but I'm enjoying it so far. It's got a good pace to it. I like the way Adrian Tchaikovsky writes. It has like a nice rhythm and I feel like quite a lot of books can be very like matter of fact, but I think one of the things that um, Adrian Tchaikovsky does quite well is he writes from a kind of first person view of his characters and really embodies them quite well. Um, so it's, it's almost like he's kind of half acting when he's doing it, but it's like their kind of commentary on the world. It gets you like quite immersed in it. So I am enjoying it like that. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm trying to trying to continue my nighttime reading. Um, is that the same author as the Super Evolved Spider story? Yes. So I've actually like I I I don't want to just be that one guy that only reads Adrian Tchaikovsky uh, and obviously the stuff that Joy writes as well. Um, but I have now, this is the fourth book that I've read by him. I really like him as an author. Uh, I think he he's quite, um, like, it's kind of like sci-fi with a message, as in what happens if humanity goes along a certain path. So it's not like, it's quite sci-fi in the far distant future um, is his kind of thing. So a lot of his... Like, there's some books that are a bit more contemporary that are set on Earth. Um, the most recent one I read by him was called Dogs of War, and that was about a kind of cybernetically enhanced dog that could speak, and how um, humans tried to do the whole war with robots thing, and it didn't really work, and there was a tragedy in the Middle East, funnily enough, um, where there's basically a desert that's filled, of, filled with robots, and they constantly try and like shoot any passerby and it kind of becomes a dead zone so instead the kind of next evolution of war was like what if they trained animals to do it so there's dogs that are trained and then um the main dog rex he works with he's part of like a multi-animal group so he's the leader of the squad and there's a there's a bear um called honey there's bees who is bees and there's also a chameleon and it's the kind of four of them and it's about their story because what ends up happening kind of throughout the course of it is that, you know, animal rights and stuff gets kind of involved. So it's quite interesting from that perspective. Another book is a, the second book that I read by him is called Cage of Souls, um, which I also really enjoyed. Um, it's, it's just a completely different vibe. But the thing is, is like, he just does a really good job making these worlds feel particularly vivid. Um, like, I don't know, I feel like I'm quite good at imagining things that happen in books anyway, but like, I like the world building that he does. And he was saying that a lot of the time he is a world first kind of author, so he starts off with this world, and the way he was kind of describing his writing philosophy is that if he builds a strong enough world, the story kind of just comes out of that, because he then... He builds the world and then goes, and what sort of story would take place in that world? And I think that's quite a nice way of thinking about it. Um, so anyway, long story short, yes is the answer to your question, Blue. Um, right, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. I know that um, obviously a lot of people have been playing Pacific Drive uh, recently. I think um, it's one of those games that I could play this on stream for like multiple weeks, but I'm also well aware that a lot of the interest in this is probably from you going and doing your own playthrough. Um, so I'll kind of hedge my bets on what people feel like that, but I really, really enjoyed that. That was good fun. Um, I just think that sometimes there's probably a lot of like busy work in that that might not be as appealing to, to watch. Um, so tomorrow we're going to be doing Lightyear Frontier, which is another uh, game that's been uh, sent to me. Um, we are going to be, it's like a kind of cosy farming sim, but you have a mech suit. So I'm looking forward to trying that out. Um, and then we'll be doing Minecraft later on in the week. So yeah, I'll see you then. I have a uh, YouTube videos that are being released this week as well. I just need to nail down the thumbnails for a couple of them. Um, but I've done one, I was actually able to finish a game in two parts, which was quite cool. Um, so I'll probably use the second part 
at some point during this week. Uh, but yeah, I will chuck on the um, the ending screen. Uh, feel free to check out the links and stuff. But uh, yeah, thanks very much, folks. See you next time.